Hi everyone, Art Journal page today. I'm working in this mixed media um, notebook. <laughs> and I'm going to start with uh, stenciling a little bit. Don't know how much of it will show after the layers that are going to be on top. I've got some kind of plan. We'll see what uh, will come out of it. I'm going to use a in my the sprays that I make they are from gel food coloring and water a few drops of gel food coloring the more you put um, from the gel food coloring the more intense the and more dark your uh, spray will be so no recipe just a try and let's see this is supposed to be some kind of blue but it's not, never mind. <laughs> not great. I'm going to uh, observe the, all this. Let's see, maybe I'll just flip it on the other side. Yeah. Although I'm not uh, using and uh, I'm not doing pages on this side, but I don't care. I will have something interesting to look at. So moving along, letting this dry, I'm going to uh, prepare now what's going to be on top of it. So I'm moving this. And as you know, I like my paper napkins. And what I'm going to do is prepare a, a background. Now, this is uh, the backing of a paper napkin. This is two plies, two. There is two here from the back of a paper napkin. And I'm putting it on something so that will not stick. This is just a plastic bag. And I'm using it so when it's wet, I can remove it in uh, a side to dry now I'm going to um, spray with water because I want to help this the spray that I'm going to use I want it to it will help it expand I'm going to use this and this is supposed to be purple <laughs> let's hope it is and like this now if I want it to help it spread I will just add water here and let it do its work and on this side I'm going to spray it with this kind of turquoise I really like this kind of a uh, coloring the backings of paper napkins the result is a lot like a batik and I really like it and you never get the same result it's always you get something new and I will show you I've already prepared one so we won't have to wait for it to dry I am going to show you the results and why I'm using two plies from the back of a paper napkin so I'm just moving this along and of course you can use whatever colors you want and let's just clean this up before we have any accidents and here are some that I've made so this is what you get and each time it looks different and it depends on the wrinkles you had and how much water and what I like with the two plies is that you get this interesting result on the one that is uh, at the bottom 
quite an interesting pattern and I don't know here you can see it less but again this is the was the bottom uh, ply and it's a little bit different so I'm now <laughs> I'm not sure which one I want to use if I want to use the upper one or this one with this a uh, really interesting pattern let's see Mm. well I think I think I'll use this one yeah so this goes into my stash of paper napkins that I dyed and let's see bringing back this and it's still a little bit wet so I'm going to give it a quick uh, blast from my heat tool and I'll be back. I'm back. So this is a uh, dry. I want to adhere uh, this paper napkin to my page. I think I'll trim it a little bit just so it would be easier. Now I'm going to use a white glue and I'm going to use a sponge because I want to put as little as I can on my page. I don't want puddles. I didn't miss any section of the page and here we go just trying I want more of the turquoise here at the bottom I'm really fascinated with this result. Yeah. And now just making sure it's stuck and I'm trying to do it without. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making uh, my hands all uh, dyed with this sprays and now I'm going to go over it with some glue to seal it and I've got here it's the same white glue but this is with a little bit more uh, more water so it would be easier to work on the paper napkin. I don't want it uh, to tear. So I'm taking some very, um, <laughs> what's happening to me today? A very soft brush and I'm just going to spread the glue on top and just slide it don't drag I'm quite generous with the glue because then it slides better and as I said I don't want to tear it uh, of course if it does tear you can always fix it just take another piece and put it in place but if I can avoid it <laughs> I will try to avoid it so it seems like uh, you can see this the spray stenciling I've done 
and I do have some waves here so I quite like it I hope I went all over and that I don't have air bubbles so now I just need for all of this to dry before I continue so I'll be back I'm back so this is dry I trimmed uh, the excess and now I want to stencil with this uh, stencil uh, mind you this is supposed to be a stencil for cakes it was in the baking aisle in my cheap store and it was very very cheap if it was in the craft <laughs> section it would probably be twice the price so I've got here some uh, acrylic paints, I've got pink lemonade, a uh, deco art, I've got luscious lemon, deco art, and then I've got a uh, pink chiffon, which is a pearlescent uh, acrylic paint, a uh, folk art, and pink rouge, another uh, pearlescent uh, paint. And let's see, I'm going to start, or maybe I'll just put some here. And I'm going to take a makeup sponge and let's see I'm really uh, I need to be careful with it they are quite runny and just putting I'm uh, it very gently I'm letting them, uh, you can hardly see it because they are very, very light, but I'm letting them mix. I don't wait for, uh, for the paint to dry. So now I don't have harsh lines between the shades of uh, paint I'm using here. And if I think I need more of one color, I'll just dip into it and add where I think it's needed. Let's see. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> what I was going for. Sometimes it, it good. It, it's it's going my way in the first try. So uh, again, the same thing here. This is nearly white. This uh, pink lemonade but it's quite nice and it gives light where I want it also this uh, very subtle uh, yellow I need to remember to bring it closer to the camera so you will see all the details. It really um, goes uh, really nicely with the background. It's not completely opaque and it takes really nicely with the wrinkles of the paper napkin in the back. I'm really, really loving this uh, Turn up how it's turning up. Let's do another one here.
yeah do I want another one something hanging out of the edge mm. no I'm leaving it be so now I am going to uh, smear this uh, leftover paint in one of my uh, excess paint notebooks and let's see maybe I'll just stencil some here on what I've got another uh, smeared <laughs> uh, leftover paint or here I've got another page this one I'm just going to use the excess paint here and I'll be back I'm back so I want a little bit more detail I need something I feel like I need something to base my flowers here I'm going to use this the sprays because I don't want to uh, put something heavier a uh, heavier paint here and let's see I'm gonna try something let's see if I can just give it some base here and I'm trying uh, to give it a base but also that it will uh, go with the rest of the background so I'm thinking right now I have control of where it's going but I want it maybe to spread a little bit so I'm going to take a this is just water and let's see it does spread a little that's always the thing you want <laughs> You want drippage, but you want to be in control, so <laughs> it doesn't always work. I don't know. I'm going to leave it be and now I'm going to try and be brave and do try and make some drippage here so let's take some paper towel before I'm making a mess not paper towel just a towel don't know where that came from and this is another green this is olive green and let's see if i can make it and if i can be brave drip <laughs> Maybe I need to help it along. It's quite dark here where the purple is, so you can't see much. But I'm hoping the drippage will reach. To the bottom mostly I don't know we'll see what happens maybe if I'll spray it a little bit okay 
so I'm going to try and just a add a little bit more of this olive green just letting it fall where it falls I'm trying to guide it a little bit but <laughs> at the end of the day it goes where it wants to go bit more water no nope. I'm gonna leave it be like so and I'm going to let it dry and then I want just a little bit more details to my page so I'll be back I'm back this is dry I added a little bit more more of the olive green here I didn't quite like the forest green that I've used at the beginning and now I'm just moving on. I'm going to use this is pilot a permanent marker and what I'm aiming to do is make a very very loose uh, branches and first I'm doing like the branches and I'm kind of following the drippage I have here and it really doesn't matter where everything goes I'm really letting my uh, the drippage and my hand do the <laughs> do the walking <laughs> so just some more branches and kind of leaves and I'm going for loose and crooked I'm not uh, aiming for a, a planned look I don't know how to explain it it really needs to be very very loose and it goes I think beautifully with the flow here and with all the wrinkles and how I let uh, the sprays just go where they go <laughs> this is the opposite of, of plant I really don't know where it's going, I'm just adding the details, going with the flow. <laughs> Some of them are hardly noticeable or here on the purple 
but I don't care. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think this is it. I just want a very loose uh, border to my page. So again, just going like this and doing a very subtle wavy line and I don't know I think I want to uh, emphasize a little bit more this uh, the petals of my flowers let's see I've got some Let's see, I've got this uh, aquarelle uh, pencils, these are from Stadler, I have them like I think, like three decades I think I have them, so let's see if I can make the petals a little bit more noticeable, and I will take a very very fine brush, Let's put some water here. Yeah. Yeah. It's working. Okay, so I'm going to go over all this, uh, not all the petals, but uh, most of them just so they will uh, won't disappear into the background and I think then I'll come back I'm back so really loving it I want to jump inside this like in Mary Poppins if I could I would and the only thing I want to add is the word dream to my page. I don't know how, if it will be, uh, how much it will be shown, but I don't care. I just uh, put some uh, letters and uh, put rubber band here. And I'm going to put here, try and stamp it here. The only uh, problem is I do have a lot of texture from the paper napkin so i'm not sure how it will a uh, yeah good enough for me so that's my dream a uh, dreamscape <laughs> hope you liked it hope you uh, uh, do something uh, like this and enjoy it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video Oh, and before I forget, let's, I'm always forgetting to bring it closer to the camera so you can see all the details. Here we go. So this is it. Bye for now.